time? Are your teeth not looking so pearly white anymore? As time goes on, they start showing signs of wear and tear, but there are things you can do to slow down or correct the problem. Here to show us how, please welcome the Texas Tooth Lady, otherwise known as Dr. Terry Alani. Hi. You are in your kind of drill sergeant wear today because one of the things that you really feel important is to educate people about something a lot of us take for granted until we have a problem. Exactly. That's why I'm here. And what I want to talk about today is how teeth change with age. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we expect a lot of our teeth. We chew, we grind, we clench, everything. And for all practical purposes, they do a great job for us, but they also are um, affected by age. Yeah. Well, and the other, speaking of age, the thing is we are living much longer today than I think our teeth intended for us to live, right? It's like in 1900, the average age was 40. Okay, not so many problems. But today, we got to take better care of something. Exactly. To make it and I'll tell you, before I went to dental school, this is true. I thought that everyone lost their teeth after 50. Oh, oh. I did, until I went to dental school. I had no clue. Yeah. And um, one of the big things, um, how um, teeth are affected by age is through acid erosion. Mm. And the biggest culprits, of course, are your sugary and starchy foods. Um, what happens is with carbohydrates, they ferment the bacteria, which releases acid, which can actually cause tiny pits in your teeth yeah. and cause decay. Okay, so are there things that we can do to kind of prevent that? For a lot of us, too late, but for our children to try, try and prevent that, really? Because yeah, yes. yeah, sugary foods, we're going to have them at some point. Exactly. Um, first thing is go easy on sugary foods. And they found now that sports drinks are actually the worst. Mm. And actually, the carbonation in sugar drinks increases the acid in your mouth. And that can cause issues, too. Does it help to rinse your mouth after or brush right after? It does, but actually just eliminate the carbonated yeah. uh, sugar drinks. Okay. Avoid frequent snacking. Um, if you want to crave something sweet, I like sugarless gum. Yeah. Trident has some really good flavors now. They're, I think they should come up with a chocolate, actually. Oh, yeah. I, I really think so. Good but stuff. sugarless gum actually helps stimulate the saliva, and it also reduces, neutralizes the acids. Yeah, and of course, see your dentist, because yeah. it, there are things that... that you can correct. Exactly. Brush your teeth, see your dentist twice a day, and um, I mean, see your dentist. Twice a I day. wish. I wish. <laughs> that would be great. Brush your teeth twice a day, and then see your dentist every six months, because we can check things. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wear and tear. I mean, exactly. that can come from a number of reasons. Some people have TMJ. Some people grind their teeth. There's all kinds of things that can cause that right. wear Right. Well, mechanical wear. Now, what people used to think is that, oh, our teeth get more brittle with age, but they don't. What happens is, is that if you've had like a root canal that's going to be mm -hmm. more suspect, that's going to be more um, susceptible. We well, compromise the exactly. teeth. Exactly. Yeah. Or if you have a large filling, that's how you can actually get your teeth as far as to break. The other thing is you have to be careful how many times you've gone to the movies and you've actually bit down on a popcorn kernel yeah, instead of the popcorn. Yeah, sometimes people seek them out, right? You're like, and, oh, this is good. And be careful when you go to restaurants because some restaurants take out the pits and the olives and others don't. Yeah. And we see lots of patients that have broken fractured teeth yeah, because hit the they wrong way. hit the wrong way, yeah. exactly. Uh, and chewing ice. Chewing ice. Another thing is um, some people clench and grind, and a lot of stress and anxiety causes that. Okay. So what will happen with that is over time, you can actually wear your teeth down and more susceptible to decay. Now, the solutions for the wear and tear would be, of course, avoid chewing ice and any other hard foods such as olive pits, popcorn kernels. Um, check the pits and the uh, olives. Um, see your dentist regularly and also see us because we can actually spot the areas, if you have a large filling or something that we can see, right. a fracture that's getting ready to crack, we can actually take care of that for well, you. And if you're grinding your teeth, you can wear a guard? A, a, a night guard, exactly. Okay. Yes. Uh, the next one, I think this is the one that, you know, it's funny, when we have critical problems, we kind of put that off, but if it's something that's an aesthetic issue, we are rushing in. Exactly. <laughs> like yeah. stained teeth or discolored teeth, we want to fix that. Right. And of course, there's lots of things that stain your teeth. Uh, red wine, coffee, cigarette smoking. Mm -hmm. I actually tell people, drink through a straw if you can. You don't want to be at a bar drinking red wine through yeah. a straw but you know drink I drink coffee through a straw and wherever I go if I get a diet drink I drink through a straw right another thing is people don't realize that but if you have plaque on your teeth they're gonna stain easier yeah so the solutions are avoid foods that stain the teeth well, um, it's interesting you make that point because remember when you or I just remember when I was little I would go to the to the dentist and they make us chew in those little red tablets yes. and it would show you where all exactly. the plaque was yeah. and you just, it grabs no, it onto does. there you'd yeah. be surprised how how the stain is and um, you can also another solution is whitening either the in-office whitening or the home trays. Yeah, and it tells you how big of a deal it is when you see, like, the 5,000 toothpaste you can choose from. Yeah. Do those toothpaste, are they really effective, the whitening toothpaste? Um, 
The, I, some of them, not so much. They no. can actually kind of help kind of prevent stain, but they're not really going to whiten your teeth like you will um, have the results in the office. Yeah, the office, yeah. the it's a professional yes, one. There's exactly. a reason why it's professional and overseen by a professional yes. because it, it was much more intensity in terms of it working. All right, uh, problem gums can result in so many issues. That's why it's so important to know what condition your gums are in because we're talking about things ca that can even, you know, relate to heart disease and other problems mm -hmm. in the body. Yeah, the biggest threat to healthy um, teeth are your gums or bad gums and uh, basically you really need to see us because it's an inflammatory process we can catch it early a lot of times if it's gone too far it's hard to reverse so you want to make sure again you brush and floss regularly an antibacterial mouthwash we I like chlorhexidine we take the dye out in our office so it doesn't stain your teeth but uh -huh. that is absolutely it works fantastic. Yeah. So is that what we consider periodontal disease? or is yeah, it, We're talking yeah. gum disease yeah. here, yes, yeah. that we can prevent it. And also something that people might not know, since periodontal disease is an inflammatory reaction, um, you can eat foods that suppress inflammation, diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids, flaxseed, uh, fish oils and fish okay. are really helpful yeah. in so fighting gum disease. If your gums bleed uh, quite easily, especially when you brush your teeth, is that a sign that there's a problem or do some people just have their no, gums bleed? No, there's usually a sign there's a problem. It's usually healthy gums just don't bleed. End of story. So you yeah. can either have anywhere from gingivitis to uh, severe gum disease. All right. And of course, uh, floss, floss, floss. Floss. Yes, and then the last one is uh, dry mouth. Dry mouth. Dry mouth. The word is xerostemia. Now, our dry, our mouth does not dry out as we age, but there are 800 medications that have side effects. 800. Wow. Medications that have side effects that can cause dry mouth, yeah. and as we get older. A lot of us are taking the medication. So if you suspect that you're having dry mouth, the reason it's so critical is because what it does, it decreases the saliva flow. And saliva, it's like oil in a car. You've got to have that lubricant to, right, right, um, right. to get break rid of, to break down the food. Right, it also neutralizes acids. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you go in and see your dentist or talk to your uh, physician if you have dry mouth because we can correct it. There's also over-the-counter medications that can help keep the saliva flow. Right. Speaking of correcting issues, uh, you have a special on something that is people love because if you have teeth that are discolored, if they're slightly crooked, if you have a couple of missing teeth, you can fix it in a snap with this thing that you you, you have do in your office called Snap on Smile. And I, I just love it. No, I love it too. In fact, I'm actually presenting a lecture next weekend in Vegas on it. But uh, Snap on Smile, it's a removable appliance. It can change the shape of your teeth. It can whiten your teeth and you just take it in and out and it fits yeah, like right over your teeth right over your and everything's teeth. like perfect oh it, it, you oh you can go to my you. website okay. it's it's i mean it's incredible we do so many of them yeah well from now until friday get two hundred dollars off the snap on smile when you mention great day houston if you want to know more about it she can show you more in her office go there to get your teeth cleaned to get a checkup anyway and then she can show it to you uh to take advantage of this special call dr lonnie's office at 713-621-5141 713-621-5141 or find her on the web at texastoothlady.com also dr lonnie co-hosts a radio show with her brother orthopedic surgeon dr wayne alani every tuesday at 1 p.m on cnn 650 it's called for your health with terry and wayne so be sure to check that out plus terry brought a few tooth academy t-shirts for some members of our audience as well because you were good students. All right. Speaking of Dr. Wayne Alani.